Welcome to the math record. This video will cover the second part of the ICTM Regional 2015 Division AA Geometry, which I'll be answering questions 15 and 17. Okay, question 15. The right uh, fulcrum has upper radius uh, BC equals 2, lower radius ED equals 5, and height BE, which is equal to 9. Determine the exact volume of this fulcrum. So basically, we need to understand what this is. This is basically just a cone, but just cut. So let's just kind of make, um, let's draw a cone. Well, I'm just going to draw a triangle because it's kind of hard to draw 3D. So we have something like this. So a cone would be, I guess, something like this. It's pretty hard to draw, so I'm just going to draw a triangle. So just imagine that this was a cone. So what's the radius of this cone? So the radius of this cone on the bottom, they said is five. And if we cut it, let's say right here, right, which is perpendicular, which is parallel to our um, base, then basically we have a radius of two at BC. So we have right here, and this is BC, so that's two. And we know that BE is equal to nine. So this height is equal to nine. So what could we do to find the volume? Well, we could use ratios. So draw this line here, and we could call this x. So we could use ratios that x over 2, so x, so height over the radius, is equal to the overall height, which is x plus 9, over the entire radius, which is 5. Cross multiply. So 3x equals 18. That means x equals 6. So we got our length for our height on this part, which is just 6. So that is six. So what we do now is that we could find find the entire volume of this big circle of this big uh, just cone, I mean, and then minus the volume of the smaller cone. So the volume of the big cone is one third pi times radius squared, which is twenty five, because that's five squared, and then times your height, which is nine plus uh, five, which is fifteen. I mean six is fifteen. And then the volume of the smaller cone is one third pi times radius squared, which is two squared, which is four times your height, which is six. So you could just do this on your calculator. So 25 times 15 minus four times six, and then divide by three. So you get 117 pi. And that is your answer for number 15. All you have to do is to recognize it's a cone that's cut in, not cut in half, but it's just cut. Number 17, determine the area of the quadrilateral vertices as shown. So basically this picture. So how you could do this is you could use something called the Shoelace Theorem, which I usually like to start with the point that's all to the most right. So the most right is 10, 0. And then you're just going to go around counterclockwise. So you're going to next one is 7, 12. And next one is 1, 7. And next one is 1, 3. And then you stop when you reach back to their first one, so 10, 0. So what you're going to do is that you're going to do a 2 by 2 matrix. So you're going to do these two, then these two, then these two, then these two. So basically, you're going to have 12 times 10, which is 120. 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 7 is 49. 1 times 12 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times uh, 7 is 7. 1 times uh, 0 is 0. And 10 times 3 is 30, so minus 30. So we just did two by two determinants. So uh, usually from this point, we I just like to put some numbers together so I can subtract out some numbers. So negative 12 and negative 7, that's negative 19. And then negative plus the 30, which makes negative 49, cancel with this positive 49. So we have 120 plus uh, 3, which is equal to 123. So this number, if you take half of it, that gets your area. So it's just 123 over 2. And that is your answer for number th for number 17. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next math record.